From giving legendary performances to fighting the best fighters, I think behind all those Gucci clothes and beyond all those luxury items, McGregor has an outstanding career in the UFC. Here are some of the best fighters he's fought against. I was conflicted between Chad Mendes and Poirier, so I went with the guy the Irishman has fought more. But I'm talking about UFC 178, the only one Connor has won. At the time, this one seemed unusual. Connor had just joined the UFC and was a brazen striker with an unconventional combat style. Yet, when he decided to take on the diamond, the level of competition significantly increased. This battle is one of the finest illustrations of how McGregor's strongest weapon in many of his fights is mental toughness. That's even that storyline. He's here. Oh! Good shot there by Poirier. Kicks for this fight. Oh, he tagged him on yeah. the left, Mike. He hurt. Fighting long. 90 seconds in. Station looking to finish the fight. That's it. it is it's over. over. Throughout the media blitz and press conferences during fight week, it was evident that Poirier felt genuine hatred for McGregor's actions. More like the intimidation had gotten him. Poirier didn't appear as focused on winning as he was on quieting Connor and stopping the hype. Connor was grinning even during the face-off. Poirier was being taunted over and over, and as the fight started, it ended quite quickly. Connor delivered his signature left-handed strike only a few minutes into the opening round. Poirier took the elbow immediately behind the ear and then followed the usual ground and pound until the referee stopped the bout. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We know what happened after that. And then after that too. Anyway, let's talk about the legendary rivalry. Connor versus Nate Diaz. The second one. UFC 202. McGregor's first bout with Nate Diaz served as somewhat of a wake-up call. But hey, the greats all experience it, right? Okay, maybe except for Habib and John Jones. But McGregor was extremely dangerous because of his confidence, which may have very well been the reason he lost the first fight with Diaz. McGregor won the opening round in their first encounter. Early on in the fight, he seemed to believe he would defeat Diaz, but Diaz persisted. And funny enough, it was also the Irishman's first ever loss in the octagon. He's trying to get out of it. Connor's in serious trouble. One minute on the clock. Diaz gets the ball. My goodness. Now he's got the ball. Most observers anticipated a more cautious Connor in the rematch, because who wouldn't? Connor had to conserve some energy in case the battle went for the full five rounds. But he repeatedly connected with left punches in the opening round, knocking Diaz to the ground. He also went hard on Diaz's front leg and maintained his lead during the second round. The five rounds were back and forth between the two. McGregor would hit Diaz with powerful blows, knocking him out. Nate would just retaliate by applying extra pressure. And although McGregor concluded the evening with his hand raised, but what made this fight an amazing one was its hype and obviously the money that came with it. All right, so moving on to UFC 246. Donald Cowboy Cerrone, one of the most famous fighters Connors faced, is just one example. Given the weight class, some people questioned why McGregor would accept a fight with Cerrone. Each of them claimed to want to crack at the lightweight title, but chose to weigh 170 pounds instead. Yet since they'd been teasing each other for some time, a fight between them appeared imminent. In addition, McGregor wanted to give Cowboy a significant salary and a headline event to recognize his accomplishments. However, the two basic basically ran at each other in the first few seconds. Connor pushed his hip forward at Cowboy to block a clumsy takedown attempt. Sus! We were unaware at the time, but Cowboy was seriously hurt by that hip strike. The two locked fists in the octagon's middle for the course of the next several seconds. McGregor launched ferocious shoulder blows at Cerrone's face. When the two parted ways, it was obvious that Donald was seriously injured. When Cowboy was attempting to recover control by backing away, McGregor delivered a left high kick to the chin. After around 40 seconds, Connor pounced on the wounded legend and put an end to the conflict. The display was a positive indication that McGregor seemed to be in great shape and on track for a championship challenge. Now for the top three, the underground king, Eddie Alvarez. UFC 205. It goes without saying that this performance deserves to be at the very top. It's as near to perfection as you can get. The show was much more daring than the fight was. It was well known that Connor had his eye on the 155 pound weight class. Connor focused on obtaining a second belt after winning the gold at 145 pounds. Although certain boxers had previously won titles in other weight divisions, no one had ever concurrently held two titles. It would be the 
first time for the Irish prodigy, but McGregor is who he is because he is bold. He takes chances. After Eddie Alvarez defeated Rafael de Sanos to win the lightweight championship, McGregor challenged Alvarez for the title. Alvarez was regarded as a fierce, uncompromising competitor, but he likely lost his reputation as a brilliant martial artist. And boy, did Connor just phase through the guy. He repeatedly dropped Alvarez in the opening round. The entire time, McGregor exuded a sense of ease and comfort. He displayed that mythical strength with his left hand. Because of an amazing combination from McGregor in the second round, the fight was declared over. He made four or five shots in a row, leaving Alvarez helpless. Stunning left hand again. Look at this counter. Boom, over the top, on the jaw, right hand, and a big one to the temple. Left hand behind it. Excuse me, right hand behind it. And Alvarez goes down and he That was the pinnacle of art. Damn, this is one of my favorite fights. Coming toward numero dos, Jose Aldo Jr. at UFC 194. The fight deserves the least amount of explanation because it is his greatest performance. The UFC pound for pound king Jose Aldo, a beast, was finished before it even began and most people would concur with me on that. Before the fight, McGregor bombarded Aldo with insults, which was also the pinnacle of psychological combat. Did Conor cross the line? is a common question in combat sports. And maybe he did. McGregor insulted Aldo in his own tongue while attacking Aldo's country of origin. It was obvious that Aldo was upset by McGregor's actions. Joe Rogan saw that mental combat had taken its toll as soon as the fight started. Connor seemed calm and smiling, whereas Aldo was more than anxious. Maybe rigid's the word. McGregor made the shot. Wait, no, I don't think you get it. The shot. The left hand that McGregor had been claiming he would land, just like everything else he had said he would do. 13.2 seconds. That's it. That's all that was needed. In addition to defeating the titan of the division, Black Trunks for the champion, Jose Aldo Jr. Connor relaxed and smiling. Oh! McGregor sparked the interest of MMA fans all around the world. More than just an abrasive trash talker had become more than a golden boy at this point. But that was until a guy from Russia stepped in. None other than Habib Nurmagomedov. One of the biggest fight nights of the decade was UFC 229. Fighting for the title, two of the most powerful and feared warriors. The fight capital of the world, Las Vegas, hosted the event at the T-Mobile Arena. The number of sales for the battle broke all previous records for the business. 2.4 million people purchased paper reviews for Habib versus McGregor, which brought in an estimated $180 million from PPV sales alone. A similar trash talk from the Irishman, as he did with Aldo, maybe even worse, but it didn't work in his favor. The Notorious was choked out by Norma Gondov and a fight broke out both inside and outside the cage. And honestly, you become a legend once you embrace your downs. And despite the fact that the Russian is now retired, Connor hasn't quite come around to this loss, and there's still animosity between McGregor and the Eagle. Having said that, that was all for the best fighters Connor has gone up against. 